Back again, everybody. I'm back again. <clears throat> now for the word. Now for the word. Um, the last video, um, I have no idea how this is going to be recorded and uploaded. And I'm praying I can get the first video uploaded correctly. But in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ our Lord and great deliverer and savior. Um, for what I was said in the original video, um, basically what I was saying is that God is in the house and all you got to do is to believe what he says and who he is and God's going to do it for you because he is no respecter of persons. Okay? You are getting saved, you are getting delivered, and you are getting set free. For one person had a spirit of addiction on them, and God is forgiving them. And I read that out of Isaiah, chapters 40, verses 1 through 2. Okay? Now, I'm ready to give the word. Okay? Today, what I had originally said earlier, is that um, what I heard was guard your heart. Okay, so God gave me a uh, chapter, ver Proverbs chapter 4, verses, uh, what was it in my notes, 23 through 27. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read it, and then I'm going to go ahead and explain it. Okay, put away from thee a froward mouth and perverse lips, put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left, and remove thy foot from evil. All right. What I did before I actually came on the air today is I actually looked up the word froward and perverse. I didn't really go into the uh, concordance to study this. I actually just got it off the internet. But it says the same thing. What the word froward, and I'm reading out of the King James Version of the Bible, and I know that a lot of these translations are different, okay? So, basically, um, there's a lot of people that just read King James. So, that's why I'm teaching out of the King James right now. Okay, because <clears throat> there's a lot more, there's a lot of deeper words and deeper meanings in it. All right. So, froward, F R O W A R D. It means to difficult to deal with, contrary, and that's dealing with a person. Okay. Pro word means difficult to deal with and contrary, and that means dealing with a person. Okay? Perverse, all right? Showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable. Now, when it comes to talking about the Word of God, when it comes to talking about different things, there are people that take the Word and they twist it. Okay, they twist it for themselves. That's being perverse out of your mouth. And what that says to me right now in uh, verse 24 of chapter 4. Put away from thee a froward mouth and perverse lips. Put far from thee. Watch what you say and think what you say before you say it. Okay? Think what you say before you say it. That's what I'm saying right there, okay? Now, in, uh, in Proverbs, in verse 23 uh, of chapter 4 in Proverbs, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So basically right there what that's saying is to guard your heart because from it flows the issues of life. So, with what your heart says and with what your 
your mouth speaks with with what's inside of you okay your mouth speaks with what's inside of you that's why if you go i'm going to go to proverbs uh chapter 18 verse 21 okay And basically what it says is death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. So they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so it means to guard your heart it means to be careful what you are around be careful what you put inside of you be careful what you watch on tv be careful what you watch on the internet okay because the enemy can take all of that and and twist the truth they can twist it and make you believe it th that it's such a beautiful thing and i can think of tons of examples right now that i don't even watch anymore i can tell you um some of the old tv shows that were made back in the 50s and 60s um I don't even watch those anymore, okay? And I'm being careful how I say this, but some of the TV shows that they made even back then that seem innocent and they seem sweet, but have like witchcraft in them. That's the enemy telling you something how beautiful it is. Well, no, it's not beautiful. You really have to be careful what you watch, okay? Because it's like, um, if um, and I'm gonna go into uh, Philippians right now. And this is where it's going right now. But you have to think of on those things that are pure, good, and beautiful. Because that's basically what I'm saying right now is to be careful what you watch. Be careful what you read. Be careful what you're putting in you. Because out of it flows the issues of life. That's what I'm saying right now. Okay? That's what I'm saying right now with this word at this very time okay so basically with this right now um i'm gonna go to matthew 6 okay i'm actually gonna go to matthew 6 because and it's in verses 19 through 20 because it's saying the same thing all right And this is really cool. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Okay? So basically, um, to lay up treasures in heaven is to consecrate fully to God and to help all men who have a need. So what am I saying with that? Number one, you guard your heart. Okay? In other words, there are several ways to say this, but this is the way the Lord's leading me to say it right now. Guard your heart. Keep diligent. Let me go back to Proverbs 4 and let me read, read, read it because I'd rather read it right now than to misquote it, okay? Because I am held accountable for what I put out. So, Proverbs, so Psalms and Proverbs. Proverbs 6, 17. So I'm going to go back there right now. Okay? Alright. Out of verse 23 of Proverbs 4. Keep thy heart with all diligence. 
guard your heart. Protect your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Okay? So, the word guard means to protect. In other words, don't, number one, don't, number two, don't give your pearl before swine. Don't, um, if you can discern that someone's not going to receive the truth, and if you can discern that someone is living in total sin, um, love them and pray for them. But if you can discern that they're not going to receive the Word of God and they're not going to receive what you have to say, guard your heart. Because this is the second meaning to the Scripture. And this is what I want to say. Because let me tell you something. I've had experiences even in my own life. And I've learned the hard way of this work. There were times that I've helped people. There were times that um, I just poured out. But what was returned to me was slop from the enemy. So what am I saying by that? Within loving people, don't be mean to people. Be kind to people. There's a difference. Because you can guard your heart, but still be kind and be loving toward people. Don't be rude, but be cautious and guard your heart. Also, what I said before, be careful what you read and be careful what you watch. And be careful who you spend your time with. Okay? Because we are in the world, but we are not of the world. That's what I'm saying. Alright, with this short and sweet video right now, um, this is like part two to the other one. This is mainly just a small word just to let you know to guard your heart today. I love all of you. God bless you and bye-bye.